Welcome back to the weekly update. This week we'll cover Hamilton and Wolff's remarks following his departure from Mercedes, speculation about George Russell's future, and whether Red Bull's time at the top is coming to an end. The departure of the seven-time world champion from Mercedes signals the conclusion of one of the most successful partnerships in Formula One history. During his tenure with the Silver Arrows, Hamilton secured six drivers' titles and played a pivotal role in eight constructors' championships. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff recently shared his thoughts on this unexpected turn of events in an interview with British Sky Sports. The Austrian described the separation as an unfriendly divorce. Wolff explained, when we signed a short-term contract, it was clear that this could happen. What hurt was the lack of time to react. It all unfolded in a single day. He further elaborated on the timing, stating, As we were considering when to make the announcement, it became apparent that Ferrari had leaked the news, coinciding with the release of their financial results. Despite the professional turmoil, Wolff maintains that his personal relationship with Hamilton remains intact. The team hasn't been performing at its best, and he's in the final phase of his career. Everyone dreams of wearing the red suit with the prancing horse, plus the financial terms were likely very favourable. George Russell might be considering a surprise move to Audi for the 2026 season. Sources suggest that Mercedes boss Toto Wolff has his sights set on an even bigger fish, none other than Max Verstappen. Is Russell's seat at Mercedes as secure as we thought? F1 reporter Christian Menath dropped this tantalising tidbit. If Carlos Sainz doesn't come, then it could be really only a temporary solution. George Russell and others may be on the market. Ralph Schumacher had this to say about Russell's future. If a world champion is then on the market, I can imagine that George Russell's job could also be in jeopardy. It is widely believed that the dream lineup for Toto and Mercedes is Max Verstappen paired with the young Italian Kimi Antonelli, which could leave the aspiring Brit George Russell out of a seat come 2025. They've been unstoppable, unbeatable, and frankly a bit boring for the competition. But McLaren CEO Zach Brown thinks Red Bull's days at the top might be numbered. Why? It all comes down to what Brown calls turmoil within the energy drink empire. I think the turmoil will have more of a mid to longer term impact, Brown mused. I think it's more of 2026 when you've got a new engine coming. What's going on with the driver front? I think that's where you potentially are going to see the lack of stability that appears to be there maybe come through a little bit. Brown believes we're already seeing the cracks form. It's going to be epic. Mercedes seems to be very on the pace now. Ferrari are there or thereabouts not too many races ago when Charles won. So, is Red Bull's dominance finally showing signs of weakness? And if so, who's best positioned to knock them off their perch? In a moment that had fans cringing and pundits buzzing, Karun Chandok found himself in hot water after an awkward exchange at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. The incident, involving Max Verstappen, Daniel Ricciardo and a visibly uncomfortable Sergio Perez, has reignited speculation about the Mexican driver's future at Red Bull. During the showcase, Red Bull and its current and ex-F1 drivers were seen addressing the crowds, leading to an awkward exchange where Karun suggested that maybe Max and Daniel could partner up, resulting in silence and weird looks from the crowd and the drivers alike. Chandok has since apologised, claiming his comments were misunderstood. But the question on everyone's lips remains. Is Checo's time at Red Bull coming to an end? And if so, who's waiting in the wings to take his coveted seat? In a story that proves F1 isn't the only racing series with its fair share of drama, former F2 champion Theo Porcher has lashed out at McLaren over his abrupt dismissal from their IndyCar programme. The Frenchman claims he was sacked in a one-minute phone call, leaving him disgusted with the team's handling of the situation. Porcher insists he had a multi-year contract with McLaren. So what changed? After all, the team claims itself to be superior and not one to employ dirty tactics, as stated by CEO Zach Brown. Where's the fairness? Where's the empathy? Aren't these signs of a toxic work culture, a phrase used quite often by Zach to describe Red Bull's team dynamics? How will this impact McLaren's reputation in the driver market moving forward? As we wrap up this week's update, one thing is clear. The world of Formula One never sleeps. From potential driver moves to technical controversies and behind-the-scenes drama, the sport continues to captivate and surprise us at every turn. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Racing Avenue.